took a southwest flight southwest now i'm hooking them heard the atx serve the tacos hope they cooking them saw a gray horse riding dirty in the streets richie served me up a beat so i'll be working till i sleep have you had some tacos while you've been in town my friend yes they're pretty i love it, these tacos so far honestly are you serious yeah they're pretty fucking good hey i'm roan and ever since i was a little kid i've been eating food good cooking good people good music good vibes when you have all those ingredients the whole neighborhood eats this week we're in austin trying breakfast tacos breakfast tacos are a cheap portable tex-mex staple tortillas cheese a breakfasty filling like eggs beans or bacon and a salsa of your choice simple Austin finds itself at a crossroads these days, somewhere between the keep Austin weird sentiment and the influx of innovation and tech money. One spot that's been keeping the spirit of the town alive is the funky little food trailer called Maria's Taco Express. We met up with local superstar blues guitarist, Paul Val. Bro, tell me what Austin's like right now. There's just a lot of live music, a lot of food, and a lot of people just partying their ass off. That's all that's happening right now. One of the specialties at Taco Express are Nepales, or as you know it, cactus. So my grandfather always told me, he said, son, if you eat Nepales, you'll live forever. Does your grandfather still eat Nepales? Oh, he's 85 years old and that, that's all he eats. Anywhere you see a cactus, cut it off, boil it, cut, cut it up in pieces, throw it on your taco, that's it. Let's just get into these. You were saying that you do a very specific thing. You take shots of the sauce. I have to do that with you. Yeah. Well, in Texas, you never pour the salsa on the taco. It's a known thing. You take that shot. Ooh. What do you think? It's delightful. The shot makes it a little bit smoother. It's a little bit cleaner. I don't have to worry about getting it all on here. The Big Daddy bite. He took down half that thing in one bite. Oh, he took down the whole thing and this guy's fucking nuts. Music, food, party, that is the Austin, Texas way. We're wow. going all through Austin trying the best wow. breakfast tacos in town. They got them right here. Right there? Right there, El Primo. Those guys kick balls. Some of the best taco stands are the most unassuming, but that doesn't mean that they don't kick balls. We went to El Primo to link up with Paul Val and our old pal, a A Ron. We saw you last time when you were with your best friend Airsoft Fatty. Are you still best friends with Airsoft Fatty? No, I mean not as best as we used, not as close as we used to be anymore, sadly. Dang. What are migas? Onions and cilantro, corn tortilla, cook in the grill, and then you put egg and cheese. You're not supposed to put the hot sauce on the taco. Uh -huh. You're supposed to just pour it straight into your mouth. Oh hell yeah. Do the double squirt on AA Ron. How's that? Tasty. <laughs> While some taco stands exist as a standalone kiosk on the side of the road, others have blossomed into behemoths of industry. One that you'll see all over Austin is the world famous Torchy's Tacos. You know, you go to New York, it's a bagel. Austin, it's all about the breakfast tacos. It's nothing better than a bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast taco to get your day started. Ooh. It's damn good, brother. I started in a trailer on South First. There's a lot of great tacos out there. Uh -huh. And I just wanted to do something fun and creative with tacos. I've heard a ton about the queso. I've heard not only is it the best in town, not only is it the best in the state, someone told me it's the best queso in the world. Ain't nothing better than some damn good queso on a nice hot salty chip. I took a skillet one day, set it out in the sun, dropped a little butter in it, dumped a couple eggs in, and watched them fry. Damn. It gets hot out here. Some taquerias hang their hat on their meats. Others take pride in their tortillas. But over at Taco Deli, the star of the show is their award-winning suite of salsas. You're from Mexico City. How did that inform your taco-making experience? Well, the, the breakfast tacos are more Texas for sure. So when I started Taco Deli, it was really more about kind of the, the lunch items and the taqueria style things that, that we started with. But if you're in Austin, Texas, you have to have a breakfast taco on your menu. There's just no way around it. Is it just me or does everybody in Austin look like PFT commentary? <laughs> Rich is already doing it wrong. You're pouring it on the taco. You got to drink the salsa, son. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh damn, he drank it first. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wrong. Cheers. Wrong. 
got a little bit of, let me have a little bit of sauce on it. <laughs> a little mamita to start off the day, a little tequila, a little soda. Is this like Here. a mixed drink in a can? Tequila and soda seltzer in a can. Who doesn't love mamitas? One of the restaurants with the most looming reputations in Austin was Juan in a Million, specifically their owner Juan. Since the restaurant opened in 1980, he's been the sole owner of the best handshake in Austin. I had to tangle digits with the man myself to see if the hype was real. See you, sir. Hi, guys. An absolute pleasure, man. Likewise. <laughs> I think I've been ready. <laughs> Damn, what a shake. And if you can believe it, he's more famous for the tacos. What makes your tacos so great? We, we, well, we've been doing it for 40 years. Our cook's been with us 30, 40 years, some of them. Our grill has been with us for 40 years along with So, so the grill, the, the that grill, grill. The grill is very important. Come on in, guys, come on in. See what you're doing all right, man. You come on the weekends. It looks like the uh, United Nations in here. We talked about expanding, we talked about franchising, but you know what? This is keeping it personal. Thank Perfect. you so much, my um, friend. Ooh. Ah. Appreciate that, man. Thank Great you. Great stuff, brother. The Don Juan, oh my God. That is a wide body taco. Look at that behemoth, that monster. Mmm. You taste the character in the grill. It's beautiful. I'm wearing it. It's fantastic. While Wani Come Lately taquerias have been popping up all over town to capitalize on the taco boom, some places have been steeped in the history of Austin. And when you hear names like Lyndon Johnson and Willie Nelson, it's pretty clear that Cisco's is one of those spots. Who's that guy in your hat right there? That's, that was my grandfather, Rudy Cisneros. Really? Yeah. You couldn't present day put a picture of yourself on a hat without being super vain and it working. But my grandfather kind of had that clout. That Grandpa image, had clout. He did. He man. definitely did. Honestly, nobody was like doing breakfast. Like you eat breakfast at home. Yeah. So he just kind of developed that in this concept of like morning Tex-Mex breakfast to then lunch and then we kind of just took it to dinner. So this place has a ton of history. Yep. What's your family's involvement with Lyndon Johnson? So my grandfather was friends with him. LBJ being able to come here and kind of get away from like the hustle and bustle. He, Willie Nelson, my grandfather, a bunch of friends, you know, rolling dice, playing cards till two, three, four in the morning and then hopping on Air Force One and going back to DC together. And you can do anything from your traditional like bacon, egg and cheese to uh, like migas or something that we do really well and, and kind of famously. So if, if you can dream it up, we, we can put it in taco. We brought in Uncle Chaps to take us on a tour of the local fair. Look at the integrity of that. That is, I mean, the engineering of that thing. What? It's like the Dairy Queen version of a taco. <laughs> yeah, you could just hold it upside down mm -hmm. and it's not coming out. Mm -hmm. This might be the most canned, like, friendly taco I've ever had. Usually it breaks apart. You know, yeah, like you give it a little happening. bit, it's still, it's holding its integrity. The integrity is incredible. You know I'm a big integrity guy. You love integrity. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I mean, it goes from a spring to barbore. What did you say? Bar no parboil? Parboil? Gargoyle? Parboil. Parboil. I still don't know what that is. Damn. It's when you put a steak in the bottom of the oven. Oh, okay. It's called parboil. Parboil. So do you think... Broil. <laughs> Not boil, broil. Broil, broil. There's no need to mince words. This next spot has the best tortillas I've eaten in my life. With just a trailer and some picnic tables, Rosita's Al Pastor has stripped everything down to just the bare essentials. Incredible tacos. We're gonna get a breakfast taco and we're also gonna have some Al Pastor taco in our life. I love that. The Al Pastor looks great. That's pork for those that don't know, slow roasted. Holy Look at this. shit. See this? Look at this. Rah! Woo! There we go. That's a ooh. These tortillas feel a little bit different. There's a yeah. little bit more flour this, on the outside, but I like that. This is a heftier tortilla. This one is house-made tortilla. The flakiness here, look at this. You have a little bit of flake in your tortilla, that's Ooh. how you know it's good. I like to pop a mamitas into my mouth while I'm having some okay. of this food, if you know what I mean. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that pineapple just accentuates this uh, breakfast taco. The birds are singing? The grackles, but they're good. Tell me this. You've been in Austin for a while, right? Uh, 98. 98 years? Damn, that's no, old. No, since 98. Oh, okay. The best taco spots have authentic food, good ingredients, and feel like home. So we brought a couple friends and an appetite 
to Pueblo Viejo. Forget the shirt and shirt and tie. You know, Austin is about relaxation, having a good time. People from all over the world come here and you can live right here and have a good time and eat tacos like this every day of the week. Mrs. Darth Vader. Mrs. Darth Vader. Mrs. Darth Vader. <laughs> I'm a Darth Vader. Just <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs> well, you are kidding. <laughs> so why do other places of the world have great tacos like this? You, you know, know what? It's, it's the hands. It's the people who do it. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to duplicate that. It's, it's from the heart. It's from the soul. And this food is from the soul. You've had a lot of tacos in your day. Every day. All right, no, this isn't the spicy. That's the Chipotle. Good luck to you on that, sir. <laughs> Why? What do you think is going to happen to my anatomy? We'll know later. It doesn't matter. Like, just give me a taco and I'll put that shit in my mouth, you know? There you go. Me too. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Salute. This, this will go good with anything. Yeah. Really this will go good with anything, too. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She has good food because she makes it from love. And I'm real picky where I eat. We tried some of the best spots in town. But if we missed anywhere, let us know in the comments. And until then, we'll be trying some of the most authentic spots in America. My name is Paul Bell, and welcome to Austin, Texas. Hook'em horns! Hook'em horns! And may they fucking kick ass this year!